Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Miss Gerbler, an art teacher from Missouri. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hey there! My name is Miss Gerbler and I am an elementary art teacher from Northeast Missouri and today I'm going to show you how to draw a unicorn! So these are the supplies you'll need. A 9x12 piece of white paper, a pencil, a sharpie, assorted Crayola washable markers, a pan of watercolor paints, water, a paintbrush, and table salt. Go ahead and get started drawing. I'm using sharpie first, but if you want to use pencil, you can. Put your hand in the bottom corner of your paper and make a dot where your fingertip is. Then make an oval shape, but before you close it, you're going to make two curved lines for the neck. The rest of your unicorn is just curved lines, so it's pretty simple. For the eyes, since they're closed, just two curved lines with some eyelashes, an oval for the cheek, a curved hilly line for the nose, the nostrils, and then a smiley line. Next is the unicorn's ears, so we're going to make two hills for the ears on each side of the head, and then a smaller hill inside of those. And then is my favorite kind of line, the wavy line, so it goes up and over, up and over, so that, that it looks like your unicorn's hair is blowing in the breeze. Then add a line for some texture. Now I'm going to add some flowing hair on top of my unicorn's head. So you can kind of um, just go crazy with the hair or just make a few curved lines like I am. And then I'm going to go up to make it look like it's going around the edge of my unicorn's head. This thing is my favorite part, the unicorn horn. So I'm going to make some hilly lines going up all the way almost to the top of my paper, then finish off with a big hill at the top. Then, on the other side, I'm making the hills a little bit lower than the other ones to look like my unicorn horn is in a spiral. Now I'm going to add some details to my background. So this is your chance to be creative, add some different um, patterns and shapes in the background. It's glue time, so get your glue bottle and go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to outline the parts that I want color um, and salt to go on. So I don't want my whole unicorn to have watercolor, um, just a few parts. So I'm just outlining the parts that I would like to have um, the watercolor. just a few pieces of scrap construction paper um, to catch some of the salt that I shake on. So I'm just putting my unicorn on top and then shaking the salt and then quickly um, just um, shaking off the excess salt. And you have to do that quickly so that your glue doesn't drip down your paper. Hey, it's watercolor time! So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So get your paintbrush wet, make a puddle on top of your paint, and all you're gonna do is dab your paintbrush. Just dab it just a little bit on top of your salt. You gotta do it kind of carefully so it doesn't squish your salt and your glue down. But if you can see, it's starting to spread and it's almost like magic. It's so neat. So just add colors, um, just do whatever colors you'd like. I'm using colors that are next to each other in the paint palette just because they go in rainbow order and it makes it look nicer. Um, and it just, the, the colors go better together if you use um, colors that are next, next to each other on the color wheel. So um, just keep that in mind as you're painting. My salt and glue is dry. I'm going to start adding some more um, colors with my Crayola washable markers. So I'm going to outline what I want um, to 
have a little bit of color. So I'm outlining the nose in gray. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush with water here in a minute. And I'm going to um, spread out the color with um, the water and my paintbrush. And that's it everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you had as much fun as I did making this unicorn. And I want to thank Art with Jenny K for the lesson um, idea and I hope you guys have a great summer. Bye!